guys, I'm Dave Palmacci. Um, I, I uh, take out the trash here, so I'm just kidding now. Um, <laughs> My name is Matthew Timmons. Um, I consider myself to be a Star Wars fan. You know, would I call myself a Star Wars? I, I'm a film fan. I think I'm a movie fan. I'm not. I'm a huge fan of the original movies, but when any movie like. For example, I'm a fan of it, like Alien and Aliens. I'm not a fan of like Alien Covenant or, or Terminator One, Terminator Two. I'm not really a fan of the Genesis. You know what I'm saying? Sure, so, I get it. Like when a franchise goes off course, yeah. I'm gonna call it out. Yeah. So no, that's right. Is that still a fan? Because I know now on the internet, everybody's you're not a real fan. I'm like, well, what is a real fan? Like, because because that's something else. I think when something becomes sacred. It surrounds itself with ignorance in a sense. We see it in sports and politics. Sure, sure. Well, yeah, we'll see it in, in fan Star Wars. is short for for fanatic. Yeah. So maybe <laughs> we're know. not fanatics. Yeah. That's not why we're here. We're here to yeah. talk about um, the rise of Skywalker. The rise of Skywalker. Return of the sea. So we'll probably be spending four hours ripping that apart. I, you know, I'm gonna or maybe not. I'm gonna maybe try we'll to go it. in this with an open mind. Says the guy with the humbug hat on. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, gonna, I'm gonna try. I have a bad feeling about it, but we'll see. Maybe, maybe it'll surprise me. Well, we just saw Rise of Skywalker. Uh, we're we gonna have some spoilers in this. Yep, lots of pod racing. Um, I couldn't believe how much pod racing there was. So much pod racing. Uh, lots of Gungans and droids. Um, Emperor turns out to be five Ewoks in a row. Yeah, your mama jokes. All uh, no, um, but actually, um, what 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 were your initial impressions? Well, so here it is. Uh, so after go back when I first saw the Last Jedi, you know, after a while I got really frustrated with this one. It was more of like I came out. And it was just like, why why couldn't Disney Lucasfilm have just sat down and be like, these are this is the story we want to tell across these three movies? Because when I saw The Rise of Skywalker, right off the bat, it was like a tourniquet with the plot and everything. And they're like, let's stop the bleeding yeah. right away. With it, it, The thing I thought I'd be most disappointed about in regards to Palpatine coming back was actually the thing I was least disappointed about. I kind of it was still like why is he back? But at least right off the first scenes is him explaining everything. You see the little bodies of Snoke in that tank or whatever. Like that was I'm like, all right, this is right away. Like it's JJ with a tourniquet. Like stop the bleeding from the Last Jedi. And it really felt overall that this was two movies, a bunch of stuff, a bunch of plots, a bunch of MacGuffins, all crammed into this. Like a Hail Mary. Like, Luke, yep. they're just throwing this yep. Hail Mary. And it was just disappointing because I'm like, so much of this movie could have been the, in place of The Last Jedi. You could have still had the same things of yep. Ray training, but have <clears throat> Luke in there or, or some stuff at the end. There were things with, like, the Knights of Ren. I'm like, these guys are cool. Where the f were they? Lando, thanks for helping us out. I guess. I, I guess. <laughs> Where were you? Where were you? There were a lot of things that I felt, you know, the end of episode eight could have been, they find out Palpatine's back. Like maybe it starts with this mysterious transmission yeah. and it ends, yeah. we found who it was, it's Palpatine. And yeah. now yeah. we have something going into episode nine, but there was none of that. It was a bunch of like, it felt like the main characters were action figures <clears throat> and they were just like, okay, we need the plot to go here. And in the beginning, they were like that hyperdrive skipping yeah it was just like this planet that planet this over here and everything was just jumping and you know when it was finally over i was just like what was the point of this whole sequel trilogy yeah what was the point i i concur um my first thought was that the movie was exhausting <laughs> absolutely exhausting there was no sense of pacing there were, yeah. within the first 20 minutes, there were enough climaxes for 20 movies. Yeah. It, it was... was ridiculous. Um, my other, my next thought was, you know, after I'd seen it, it felt like 
the climax of a series of movies that we never had. Exactly, yeah. It, 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 was... <laughs> it just kept introducing things that weren't yeah. in the trilogy before. Like, hey, wow, Leia's a Jedi. Like, when Where did that happen? That? Why didn't we get to see that? Oh, and Palpatine's been hiding on a planet. Really? That's when? No one thought they'd mention that? Oh, and he built a gigantic fleet of planet destroyers. Really? When? When? How did he do that? Exactly. <laughs> and, you know, going back to what we were talking about earlier about, you know, the prequels as, you know, poorly directed as they were, it, we at least saw how Palpatine built yeah, the Empire. It was, an, it was an arc. It was yeah, a story. Ex precisely. And there was none of that in here where it wasn't so much that the Emperor was back. It's that, why couldn't we have pieces of this in episodes 7 and 8? Exactly. If... You know, and instead we knew it's just a bunch of band-aids in this was, movie. It was just wall-to-wall -wall MacGuffins and side quests. It was like a, yeah, a, like a really, video game. Yeah. yeah. I was going to say a very badly written adventure module. But yeah. a, a video game, you know, if that's, you know, I don't play a lot of video games. But yeah. Yeah. Yeah, like a video game. Um, and, and um... I'm sorry, I don't... Maybe it's me. Maybe I'm old and jaded, but I did not get any of the emotions from it. I, well, could, that's, that I was... saw all the spots. They're like, oh, they want me to feel something here and they want me to feel something there, and I did it. It was just like sound and fury signifying yeah. well, be nothing. Because of what you just said of feeling that this was a climax to movies we didn't see, I didn't feel any emotion either at the climax of the end. I wanted to. I yeah. wanted to feel something. Even, you know, they have Ray and Kylo kit. Like, there was, that was the other thing. It was Band-Aids, Tourniquets, and quick, take these pills. Like, yeah, exactly. the, the kissing pill, the like shoving all this stuff. <clears throat> yeah, the, uh, in the it. emotional moments. And it, it, it like, tried to hit all those beats. And you can't have an emotional yeah. moment without the build up to it. Right. They had characters yeah. who we just met five seconds ago yeah. go through an entire arc and suddenly become important. Who is this person? The, yeah. Like, the, the, the girl they met in, in the red outfit there. Who posed. Oh, the, uh, Zora, I think it is. Zora, whatever. Yeah, she's, yeah she jumps out and says, ah, I've caught you now. I'm going to turn yeah. you in for a whole bunch of money. And then she goes through an entire movie's worth of character arc in, yeah. in 10 seconds. Yeah. And then at the end of that scene, she's their good bestest buddy, and she's going to help them out. I'm like, what the heck? Yeah. Where did that come from? Again, lots of elements... That should have been planned in like episode eight exactly. or something. Exactly, uh, you know. And, and again, even the scene with you know Harrison Ford's back as Han Solo is that memory vision, which I get the point. It was weird, but uh, again, I didn't even feel that there was this transition of why Ben Solo was no longer Kylo Ren. It's like he got he gets stabbed, Leia died. What's why does Leia have a one up and not Han when he kills yeah, his father? Yeah. And and how come Leia suddenly says, "Oh, now I have to go Force Vision with my son"? She didn't think of doing that before. It was suddenly right yeah. there. Yeah, well, the, the exactly. movies, and they and this started really in the Last Jedi, and and they continued to this one. They make a mockery of time and space. Characters just automatically, magically appear wherever yeah. they need to be. Wherever they need to be, yeah. No matter how far the planets are apart, <laughs> and their distance means nothing in the Star Wars universe no. now. Kylo says, oh, she's on that planet yeah. somewhere. I need to be there. <laughs> Two scenes later, there he is. Turns around, he's yeah. right there. Hello, I'm here for the scene now. And even when they can't be bothered to do that, now they have this super force projection power, which allows them to allows them to talk across space and, and then now take physical and, objects and physical <laughs> objects i have no idea how the force works anymore nothing all the uh, rules are gone i think you need that shirt now that says that's not how the force that's works. that's not how we, the force works I, I think we need a bunch of inserts of uh, harrison Ford of han solo's from yeah the just force awakens we just come that. to that movie over and over that's <laughs> light that's not how the force works yeah and it, it just it keeps getting ridiculous where you know, suddenly Ray heals that snake warm thing, and, yeah. and he's like, and she just says, "Oh, I just took some of my life energy." Well, you how? can do that. You can do that. Yeah. I, I just don't understand. Oh, and then this, you know, that whole string was an endless string of coincidences. Yeah. They had to find 
the the MacGuffin, the triangle yeah. thing, right? And they oh, they accidentally fall in some quicksand. Oh, but the quicksand throws them right where they need to be, and then yeah. they're stuck down here. But here's a snake, and we heal the snake, yeah. and he moves, and there's a way out. Yeah. It, well, it was. It was the, like wow. every all these side things that just sort of got pulled along with. Look, we need the plot to go this way. You're the on board, or you know, that's it. Yeah. The same thing with the emperor. Like at first. He's like, okay, you have to bring Ray to me so I can kill her. And then I, I, I don't know about you, but then when they're both there, it seemed like he felt surprised. Like, oh, wait, there's this duopoly, I know, whatever yeah. thing, yeah. by force thing. Oh, now I'm going to take it from you. As if he was surprised by that as much as we were, which I thought, okay, that wasn't Palpatine's plan. And then, you know, Palpatine was behind all of this for 30 years. And it's undone in what five minutes? Yeah, you know, it's the writers, all four of them. You know, they. It's like they didn't care because when they couldn't bother to figure something out, they just glossed it over. Palpatine's back. How? Pfft, hell if I know. Yeah. The movie doesn't say. There he is. <laughs> I can tell they tried a bit, but I wish they emphasized more because I got the hint of... Because he did mention his spirit later near the end, like, oh, strike me down, my spirit will take over you. I wish he would have said something like that at the beginning to explain that, oh, well, kind of like in the expanded universe. Sure. Where if they said that he was struck down, but now it's in this new body. Yeah. But, at least, like, they just yeah. needed something. And it could have taken 20 seconds, 30 exactly. seconds to just insert that so... I would have like bought it a bit more because again, it's like this guy was thrown down this shaft. He blows up in the fire in Return of the Jedi. The Death Star blows up. The Death Star crashes. I, I'm assuming like, was it that body or is this a new body? I don't know. I have no idea. And I, then it doesn't. Yeah. They didn't bother to explain it, and and they treat it like it's completely unimportant, and they just they just make up things whenever they yeah. wanted to, and because it needed it. Yeah. And they did, and they completely changed things. The Sith is now not two people. Now it's a hidden empire, which, by the way, everybody knows about. Yeah. Which is totally contrary to all of the other movies. Yeah. Right? You get the feeling that people didn't know who the Sith were. Yeah, and again... And, and suddenly, everybody knows who they are. Yeah, and in the prequels, you, we as the audience knew that Palpatine was pulling these strings, but... We, it was at least convincing that, okay, no one else knows, and we understand how he's being very slithery about yeah. this. Here, Rise of Skywalker, it's like, oh, by the way, we have a planet of, like, millions of people in this Sith Empire all of a sudden that no one knows about. Yeah. In and the they, Uncharted region. Well, why are they Uncharted? No one's, like, going, no, like... No, he just built an empire there. And, like, how did he fleets. get there? Yeah. Oh, but with, if there's only two of the... But you get my point. It's, like, it's frustrating. It like... is very frustrating. I mean, not only did they run off into the into the unknown regions and yeah. build this fleet of spaceships, every one of which has Death Star capability. Yeah. Why did they build them on the water too? That would have been I, I feasible don't know. either. And they also designed uniforms. Did you notice that? I did. <laughs> they yeah, also I had did. time yeah. to the somebody, some evil Sith guy mm. was sitting in an office like, ah, designing yeah, uniforms. Yeah. Yeah. Make it. Red. Yeah, we need red. <laughs> and then the big thing is, okay, Rey is Palpatine's granddaughter. Were her parents this powerful with the Force? If she is, like, did it if skip she's, a series? If she's the granddaughter, yeah. who, which one of her loving parents yeah. was the loving, son? Loving, by the way. The son yeah. or daughter yeah. of Palpatine. And how did that yeah. happen? And how, Oh, there's a scene yeah. I don't want to think about. Yeah. I don't either. Because <laughs> Palpatine is supposed... That's like Sauron from Lord of the Rings being married. I can't yeah. picture that. Yeah. yeah. I can understand Vader and Padme. You, you know, the, the, yeah, the, yeah. the offspring for Vader. But like Palpatine was... The Emperor was supposed to be the embodiment of evil in the dark side. Not to... I can't picture him having offspring. It is kind of weird. It's just re And not just having offspring... That, you know, his, uh, Ray's parents were like these really good, humble people. Which, what, which one of them Why? was the, the offspring of Palpatine? Yeah, I, that, that doesn't make sense. I don't know. I yeah. mean, and then, I am the embodiment of all mm. the Sith, and mm. Ray's the embodiment of all the Jedi. 
They just pulled that out of nowhere. They just pulled it out because, quick, we got 10 minutes left. We gotta do something. <laughs> oh, they did something like this in Dune. Yeah, we can do that now. Yeah, <laughs> Here's yeah, an idea. Yeah. We'll just steal another idea from exactly. Dune. Suddenly, yeah. all of the, the Sith come down to the last one in line, which is not something I've ever heard before. No. It was weird. And then, here's the other thing. I'm like, okay, so if Palpatine survives, at the end of Return of Jedi... Why didn't the Force Ghosts of Yoda, Obi Wan, and Anakin tell him stop celebrating? The Emperor's not dead. Go and, get him! And don't give me that he didn't. They didn't know. They're one with the Force. They would know. They supposed That's to part know. of being one with the Force. I, I don't know. So again, they just don't. They didn't think of these things, and that's that's the frustrating. It part. is frustrating. It's it's frustrating when your science fiction movies or any movie really mm. doesn't make sense and doesn't yeah. seem to care that it doesn't make sense and almost seems to uh, doesn't want you to make sense of it it's like they you don't know, forget you about it just feel this just feel yeah. something yeah and they just want to, well you're not a real fan or you, you just don't like it because the main character is a girl or they throw something out there yeah. like, no yeah. i don't it's i actually didn't mind how i actually liked how Poe, Ray, and Finn were together a lot in this movie, and I just wish they did that in in Episode Eight. Yeah, sure. And yeah, they didn't. True. They it was, and that's kind of my question to people who, you know, I'm not saying you don't, you can't like the Last Jedi. That's fine. But if it was such this great movie, to people who thought that, I don't think that. <laughs> like, where should it have gone? Like, where? Okay, so what should Episode Nine have been in that case? And it, it just. And that's the hard part. And the tragic thing about this is Disney and Lucasfilm, I think, was just thinking about dollar signs. And they didn't have a plan for any of this. Yeah. For any of this trilogy. And this it's isn't... sad because this was the only time to get Mark Hamill, Harrison Ford, and Carrie Fisher, yep. which all of us wanted to see. And in addition to that, they still could have introduced these new characters. It Certainly. could have been yeah. a very intelligent, uh, great story to pass it along. Yeah. And they didn't. They blew it. They did. Instead they of did. shooting themselves in the foot, they shot themselves in the head with this one. <laughs> it wasn't even a trilogy. It was just three movies. Yeah. It does, there's not a coherent story. That we didn't really need. Like, what yeah. What did they really fulfill? I couldn't get excited. I mean, at the mm. end of the movie, yay, we blew up the bad guys and the Emperor's dead. Yay, what, let's Why celebrate. did he just come back now? I'm thinking, wait, I saw this. This is, yeah. how, I, this is how Return of the <laughs> Jedi, we, and we, I was happy then, and then you yeah. did this to me. So, it was the same thing. They, they had those clips of Bespin... And some other planets. Exactly. I'm like, we saw this before. How? What's to stop them from doing this again? <laughs> Let's just do episodes 10, 11, 12. Have the Emperor come back. Why, why not? Yeah, right. And, you know, and the, and it's that's, a new space empire. Yeah. Yeah. That's kind of my point. Where Was anybody really saying at the end of Return of the Jedi, like, mm, I don't think, th this doesn't feel complete. No. It was totally <laughs> complete. <laughs> so, and that's the thing. So, and, and, you know, that's my frustration with, Okay, I get you're a fan of Star Wars and everything. I'm not trying to take that away. But when you're trying to convince me that this new sequel trilogy is fantastic and it completes the Skywalker saga, I'm like, you don't really have anything there. It, it was already complete. Yeah, it I'm not saying they had to do more. I'm just saying it could have been done so much better. It, the, Skywalker, the Skywalker saga was complete in Jedi. This added nothing to it. Yeah. it. It didn't complete anything. Yeah, and I, th I think we could go over with the fine comb almost every scene. Like at the beginning, what was that snail slug thing in the Millennium Falcon that's just there fixing something? Like did they? I think they just wanted yeah. a look, a crazy alien. Yeah, and, and they added another droid from that ship from yeah. whatever. Yeah, and Like that cone droid. I'm like, do we really need another droid? How many droids do we need? Like, <laughs> poor R2-D2. Yeah, he's had his limelight completely stolen. Yeah. That's the other thing I want to talk about is the disrespect to the original characters. I think it's hard to really choose one, but I, I personally feel Leia deserved better than all this. I know they were trying in this movie, but I think she deserved better. And there was a, a scene in this movie where there's a flashback with Luke and Leia sparring and training. And that scene i felt the motion because in that scene yes. i was like where was this movie yes that is the scene i wanted to see and yeah. i couldn't believe i couldn't believe they did that did i miss something did the other two movies say that she was a jedi i mean 
Yeah. You know, Lei calls her master at the beginning. Yeah. And well, I she think, did the Mary Poppins in Ray, The Last Ray, Jedi, but that's And I it. thought, that's weird. Well, I, think, yeah. I, I thought maybe that was just an offhanded thing. Yeah. And later, you know, it's revealed that Leia was training Rey. How could Leia train Rey? She's not a Jedi. And then, ooh, surprise, she was a Jedi until she quit. Yeah. What? Wait, when did that happen? I, I oh, it happened in a flashback. When, isn't this cool? Shouldn't yeah. we have seen a movie about this? And if that's the case, like, why didn't she help to convert her son Ben Solo back yeah. if she was a Jedi? If she was a Jedi, why was she just flying around on, on a ship giving orders? You know, th that's not what a Jedi... It, ex why wasn't she out jedi exactly. with a lightsaber yeah. and everything? Well, I needed some more of that Advil. Ugh, <laughs> like, oh, yeah. yeah. What did you like? What did I like? What did you like about it? Let there were stuff well, I liked about it. <laughs> Besides that one scene with the flashback, um, I actually liked, I, this, despite the flaws with how Palpatine was back, I actually liked him in this. I liked their intent with him. He is a much better bad guy than he Snoke. Is, he, he is, is a, a way better bad, bad guy. guy. So. Nothing against Andy Serkis, but I think it's just, okay, if they were going to bring him back, they should have started this oh, yeah. episode earlier, yep. but... He, he McDermott killed it, and I'm I'm just assuming it was a different body because the body looked younger than the Return of the Jedi one, which was weird. Yeah, and he and he had really cloudy eyes. Yeah, so, and he had that that fantastic hook thing that came he down looked with like his this, life support. Yeah. I love that. He, he looked like a Grim Reaper almost, yeah. which was cool. That and, reminded me of something like the big hook coming down from the top of the screen and a guy on the bottom of it. Yeah, I which is kind of sworn I've cloak. seen something like that. But yeah. anyway, it was fantastic. The design of that w yeah. was brilliant. I, yeah. I really liked that. Um, I loved the... Uh, you know, there was a lot of nostalgia and, um, you know, fan service. And a lot of it fell flat for me. But I did love the wreckage of the Death Star. That actually yeah. kind of did something it, to me. Like, yeah, you saw, <laughs> you saw the Stormtrooper helmets and armor pieces left yeah, over. Yeah, I did cool. like that. That yeah, was yeah. neat, and it kind of made some sense for, for that. Because it is this giant structure. Not all of it's going to burn up, I guess, in the yeah, atmosphere. Yeah, yeah, bits of it are going to fall down. Um, other things I liked was I, I felt um, Adam Driver as Kylo Ren was trying to do his best to keep this together. And I, I have to give him credit. In The Last Jedi, I felt he was the only one trying to keep it together, too, despite... It, like, he was kind of the least of the worst, I felt. Yeah. In a way. He was all right. Yeah. But good. it's... It, in this one, um, I like the Knights of Ren. They were cool. But again, I'm like, where were they? And they really should have been developed. I still don't know who they were. Who They're are they? just guys in scary They're outfits just and helmets. They look cool, but I'm like, what's the... What are they doing? What's their deal? Why and again... They? A lot of us have jobs and other and lives, and it's like for Disney to expect us to go into comic books and series to find that out. I don't have time for that. Like you, sh the movies shouldn't have to do that. Like no, if that's... you want, ex it's that's different from expanded stories. Yeah, I think. Yeah. But there should not be any necessary information. Yeah. In external sources, yeah. you should be able to get everything you need from the movie. Yeah. So I don't know. I I like that, but again. You know, with Kylo Ren and the Knights of Ren, where were they in the past two movies? Is yeah. my question. Yeah. I mean, well, not Kylo Ren, the Knights of Ren. The Knights of Ren, yeah, yeah. Um, so, yeah, those things I liked. Uh, I don't know if I have anything else to add. <laughs> no, no, nothing. Yeah. Nothing really. I can just keep yeah. going over this I mean, again. Sorry, again because but, uh, I went into this movie, where I'm like, I'm not expecting much. Kind of like... Yeah, I said I had the same thing when I went to get my wisdom teeth out. I'm like, can't how bad can it be? <laughs> but it's still gonna be bad. So uh, I, I think now I'm like, look, it wasn't that atrocious. It, it was disappointing in the overall scheme of like, really, this was it. These were these last. I was so excited when they announced episodes seven, eight, and nine, and but I was worried because I'm like, Di this is gonna be a coin toss. Disney is either going to make these incredible. Or they're going to be a train wreck. And unfortunately, I heard the train whistle like, yeah. after. Yeah. One more thing I wanted to say. Yeah. Um, online, yes. I had read that uh, you should stay to the end of the credits. Um, there's no need to do that. There is nothing after the credits. The credits are just the credits and then the movie ends. So save yourself five minutes. Kind of like how we felt after the whole movie.